Hi everyone, my name is Kyle, and today I'd like to tell you about this nice book here called The Last Stop on Market Street. It was written by Matt De La Pena, and the pictures were drawn by Christian Robinson. You can see even animals like this book. So the reason I chose this book is because it teaches readers three valuable lessons, and I'll go through those with you now. Okay, uh, at the beginning of the book, we are introduced to a young boy named CJ and his grandmother. And throughout the book, CJ questions, uh, why, why do we have to do this? Why do we have to do that? Why can't I buy this? How come we don't own that? You know, he's a little upset that he doesn't have some things or he's upset that he has to do something. He's upset that he can't do other things. And as the book progresses, his grandmother is there at his side to offer him some valuable life lessons. Uh, so for instance, um, on, on this uh, page here, he sees his friend drive by and he says, Nana, how come we haven't got a car? And his Nana tells him, uh, boy, what do we need a car for? We got a bus that breathes fire. An old Mr. Dennis, who always has a trick for you. And as you can see, there's the side of the bus has a little dragon breathing fire. And the driver, Mr. Dennis, always has a nice magic trick for CJ, such as pulling a coin from behind his ear. And so CJ gets a nice little, uh, you know, a nice little present for riding on the bus. And then, uh, CJ notices that his grandmother is very polite to the people on the bus. She gave everyone a great big smile and a good afternoon. And grandma made sure that CJ did the same. <clears throat> okay, so he notices people on the bus, this old lady with a jar of butterflies, this heavily tattooed young, young man, and a blind person as well. And uh, the boy, CJ, says, Nana, how come that man can't see? And Nana says, what do you know about seeing? Some people watch the world with their ears. And the blind man says, that's right. And their noses too. And then later on the bus ride, these two young boys get into the bus and they have a cool MP3 player <clears throat> and CJ complains to his Nana, how come I would like to have one of those? Why don't I have one of those? And Nana says, why do you need a music player? You have a man on the bus who has a guitar. And the man on the bus sings a song for everybody on the bus. And on and on the story goes, and CJ questions his Nana why he doesn't have some things or why he can't do some things. And they arrive to the last stop on Market Street, and... CJ quickly realizes why he has come here with his Nana and this is a poor part of town um, and he realizes that his Nana has brought him to a food kitchen and so as I said at the beginning of the video CJ learns three things and the first is to live a simple life and the positives that you can have from living a simple life. His Nana doesn't have a car and CJ doesn't have the nicest MP3 player, but his Nana teaches him to appreciate that they have a bus surface with nice people on the bus that they could interact with and they wouldn't have that interaction if they were taking a car by themselves. And maybe if CJ had that nice MP3 player, he would be paying attention to his phone and he wouldn't be looking at the world around him and hearing the music that other people have to offer. The second lesson that he learns is um, a lesson of not being too materialistic and uh, knowing and learning that he doesn't have to have the nicest things and that he can make do with what he has. And the final thing that he learns is, and the most important thing that he learns here at the end of the book, is service to others. 
So on the bus, Nana gives up the seat to the blind man. She's in service of, of the blind man. And at the end of the book here, they're in service of the poor people at the food kitchen. And so CJ learns a valuable lesson of taking care of his fellow man. So uh, that's the book, uh, Last Stop on Market Street. And it's a very great book. The colors and the pictures are beautiful. And you can learn a lot by reading this book. I hope you check it out. It's really great. Thank you, everyone.